all right what is up folks name is here bringing you guys a brand new video now today we're going to be talking about call of duty vanguard yes the new call of duty where we get so excited for every year and sometimes it hits that mark sometimes it doesn't but let's get into our predictions for this year and talk about some of the updates and new things that they're bringing to the call of duty scene which in my opinion look very promising all right guys we're going to kick things off here on charlie intel now charlie intel is a great website i'm sure most of you guys know it if you're watching me you're probably a hardcore cod fan and most of you guys know that this website has all the information on the latest and greatest call of duty news so uh basically let's go into the first thing which is the creative class and gunsmith now i watched the reveal just like all of you did right and they talked a little bit about it but you also you always have to go back and read just to be sure what they were saying so let's go along this together guys right uh and all right so an evolved form of the popular gunsmith system for modern warfare will be one of the main focuses in call of duty vanguard creative class ecosystem a total of 10 attachments will be available for the vanguard creative class gunsmith including a new caliber option now to me this is absolutely wild news because you think about classes you think about weapons and how op they can be with 10 attachments now that is a lot of attachments and that also can make it very confusing now i thought the gunsmith was going to be confusing when it came into effect in mw and i ended up figuring it out pretty easily but 10 attachments seems overwhelming um the caliber option also one of the developers when he was talking during the reveal basically he said that like we are going to step out of the equation as much in terms of balancing weapons and we are going to let you guys do it with the caliber option which i just found to be incredibly odd maybe it's just the wording of what he said uh, but either way they're giving you they're giving us an opportunity to be able to balance our own weapons which i guess for competitive that is good uh because they'll be able to find what works best what is the most competitive what is uh going to keep that integrity um but to keep on moving uh let's see an example of the new caliber option for the vanguard gunsmith is that shotguns can now be outfitted with a buck slug the buck slug is a shell filled with short range buckshot and slug round for longer range uh yeah so basically what i said like you can control how much damage your weapon is going to do so it's like essentially that shotgun has stopping power um so yeah caliber and gunsmith uh i mean we got to play the game and get it and really tweak with the classes to know what it's going to be like but right now i do have some initial concerns especially over the caliber side of things uh like i said it'll just be interesting to see how it plays out um but let's move on so con vanguard weapons list ars smg snipers more i mean it's a world war ii game right so I'm expecting car 98s, M1 Grands, MP44s, uh, or STG, as you new uh, fans like to call it from World War II. Back in COD 2, it was the MP44, uh, MP40, Thompson, things like that. We saw most of these guns in the beta. Um, so here we go. Here's every weapon. STG44, Itra Burst, Bar, NZ41, Volk. Bar was extremely good in World War II. Uh, the coolest thing about World War II games are the SMGs, in my opinion. SMGs and the snipers. But you have the MP40, you have the PPSH, the Type 100, which is basically the grease gun or the Sten, either one, both of those. Uh, these are similar weapons, if I if I remember correctly. And the M1928, which is the Thompson. So you got all those SMGs, which is solid. I'm sure they'll add more weapons as time goes on. Um, and then moving on, you have some LMGs. We're not LMG fans in here. And you have the Mosin Nagat, which is the Russian sniper. You have the Kar 98K, and then you have the three line rifle, um, which there we go, man. I mean, the three line rifle, that's basically what is that? Uh, that was the, the North American sniper. I forget the name of it. A few moments later. I got it, guys. It was the Lee Enfield. All right. So that's the sniper that I think is the three line rifle. Maybe I could be wrong. You have the M1 Grand, you have the two shotguns. The 1911, the machine pistol, the rat, whatever that is, the M1 bazooka, the Panzer Sheck, and the FS fighting knife. So pretty standard weapon list. I'm sure they'll add more as time goes on, but hey, I mean, you gotta be happy. It's a traditional dub dub two weapons, right? Not missing anything there. Uh, moving on, we got COD Vanguard multiplayer maps will feature major weather effects. Now this map, guys, this is a Call of Duty 2 map, basically copy and pasted. Uh, looks just like, um, I think it, it wasn't Moscow. It was uh, Stalin something. It was a Katsu map, snow Russian map, and uh, it looks just like it. Um, but moving on, let's see what maps we have in here. So I know the hotel map, that one looked cool. We're going to take a look at some of Sims videos and check them out. But uh, here goes the weather effects. Like the Battle of Berlin, Gavutu, like these maps have so much weather going on. And all of the it's just crazy how far video games have come now that we can do things like this, right? Like this is just really cool. It's going to be raining on some maps, snowing on some maps. You're going to have crazy weather effects throughout the map. At some point, I think things will change. Maybe you'll see like a lightning bolt or something. So I think that that's really cool. Uh, just adding more attention to detail, right? So to give you a more fun, uh, immersive gaming experience. Uh, COD Vanguard will see the return of two classic World at War maps. Now, guys, I have played every single Call of Duty. I played World at War for a little bit. 
But if you guys remember correctly, we played COD 4 for two years in a row. So the main competitive community did not go to World at War. Even though I know a lot of pro players who play now got their start in that game, they weren't in the scene, in the pro scene back then. So for World at War, these maps, I mean, they don't mean too much to me, but I do remember these maps, right? The maps that are going to be coming back are Castle and Dome. Uh, so, I mean, that's exciting. If you're a World at War fan, that should be pretty fun. Uh, I'm not quite sure if those are competitive maps, but I think Dome was. I don't know about Castle. Either way, that'll be pretty fun to uh, play some old maps. I mean, we have 20 maps, for God's sake. We got to have at least eight good ones, right? Uh, moving on. This is a crazy, crazy drop. New Pacific Warzone map. It looks beautiful, guys. Like, seriously, it looks absolutely stunning. So, let's go check it out. Uh, I think is long overdue. We've needed a new map for um for warzone and we're finally getting one so let's just take a look at this video uh so shout out to him guys ink slasher in the chat if you guys want to check him out but here's the this is as fast as i can find it complete with all new points of interest players will get to traverse the lush landscapes of the island and make their way through a variety of extremely cool locations while battling it out alongside friends and foes our goal was to create a fresh new experience for map which is going to be called warzone so i just think that this is awesome guys because listen like you think about world war ii games and how they sort of have that stale pal like they don't look as as vibrant and colorful because it's a world war ii game well warzone gets a super vibrant updated map right it's like palm trees and red accents and like modern stuff so i just think it looks crazy it's in the pacific it looks beautiful we've needed a new map for warzone this map is stale i can't see anything on the map i know a lot of you guys like me especially the older gamers they cannot see on the warzone map so this will be extremely fun extremely exciting with the new weapons with the anti-cheat coming cod is set up for a fantastic year and warzone especially so there should just be a ton of fun um but anyways that's the warzone update but let's get back to the competitive side of things how do i think this game will play out competitively well while we're talking about that a little bit let's watch simp's gameplay because simp absolute animal i mean he's playing this beta against a bunch of content creators and some other pros and coaches and he was dominating like dropping 80 bombs 70 bombs so make sure you guys go check out simp his link will be in the description below uh he's starting to go hard on youtube and it's getting great but anyway so a lot of people running the stg uh they're just dominating with it the time to kill in this game seems way too fast uh if i'm gonna be honest like you kill super quick the mp oh this is the mp40 he's using like this gun even has medium range it has short range you can just melt with this weapon um and it's concerning right especially with the caliber system and that going to be coming out people are going to be able to make their guns stronger you have so many attachments it worries me a bit but in terms of ttk we always kind of figure it out but if you think about the last game the mw game the ttk was way way too fast so i'm hoping that this isn't like an mw crossover some people said that it feels sort of like mw world war ii combined which to me i hope that that isn't what it's like i hope it's not the mw ttk because right now i think it needs two more bullets to kill that guy died nearly instantaneously but in terms of movement and things like that i think the movement looks incredibly fluid the game is extremely pretty i mean it looks beautiful it looks smooth um and he's sliding around i mean he's getting kills it doesn't look like too cracked out right like i haven't seen i watched a couple of those videos i haven't seen like super sliding into things or doing any crazy ledge slides or anything like that he's just sort of walking around pre-aiming hitting a slide here or there and winning his gunfights um and when you think about movement if there's any broken movement mechanics that are like extremely op it can ruin the entire title so uh so far i haven't seen any clips of anybody breaking the game which is which is always going to be good news uh also for competitive i mean we have 20 maps i said it earlier i'll say it again we're gonna have at least eight good maps we're gonna have at least at least um which i think is great uh when we have maps call of duty games are fantastic i mean this the, the three things i think you need for a good call of duty game are good maps good weapon balance and then a rank system if you have those things you can work with anything else um and in world war ii games we typically have a good uh gun meta be just simply because the guns you know you know these guns right they're traditional guns that you've used in a bunch of video games and they're usually going to be around the same level right like car 8k is always pretty good that STG MP44 is always pretty good. The Thompson is always viable for one meta and then it goes away uh, and then you get the MP40 out. So uh, I, I think that we're in a good place in terms of the weapons that going into this game. There's not too many. It's not overwhelming. Uh, you're just gonna have to figure out the attachments that you want. That is where you're really gonna get some customization. Um, but yeah, in terms of this map, I think this map looks fantastic. I think he has another one where he plays on Hotel. So let's check that one out. Well, this map, I think, 
looks amazing. Uh, there's a simp tweet where he said he thinks it's the most competitive map uh, that he played so far in the beta. And I think so. Uh, it's beautiful. I was watching Merc play this one yesterday. Um, you know, it's inside. It's like a little palace. Almost reminds me of uh, the uh, seaside map on Black Ops 4 where they're just but all inside that inner palace because it's super small. Um, and he's just running around getting kills, man. So this is just a mixy map. It's going to be super fun. There's really no way to know if any map will be competitive until people play 4v4 in it. But my initial reaction is that's a small map. Uh, it has good angles, good lanes, and it looks fun. Um, there's also a new game mode that we're going to talk about in more detail when we get more information, but it's called Patrol, where basically it's like a move. It's a moving hard point where you control it. And I think it expands the longer you're on it, something like that. I talked a little bit about it. Didn't give too much information, but once we get more information on that, I will go into detail. But yeah, guys, this is sort of just an update for those of you who couldn't catch the video because I know a lot of you guys are busy and stuff. You come to my channel for that quick dose of Call of Duty, and I hope you got it here, man. So if you liked it, make sure you leave a like because it helps the video a lot. I noticed a lot of you guys watch the video, but you don't leave a like. What's that about, man? Leave me a like next time. I'll see you guys. We'll be talking uh, some teams, some roster mania, and then we'll get back into Vanguard. Until next time, guys. Peace.